Good evening, everybody. Uh, thanks for being here today. Uh, I'm John Bogoryu. I'm CEO and co-founder of uh, Nest Cargo. Nest Cargo is an online marketplace that brings in touch shippers with carriers. Uh, the majority of uh, the small and medium enterprises have a really hard time finding the right carrier at the right price to transfer their goods internationally. Uh, at the same time, in Southeast Europe and Turkey, we have 400,000 uh, transport companies by 30% empty trucks. Uh, this results in higher prices for the shippers and higher operational costs for the carriers. What we came up uh, with as a solution is an online marketplace that disseminates information more efficiently. The shipper enters our platform, uploads their shipments, Carriers are, um, are notified uh, instantly via email, and if they can transfer the freight, they give a quote. The shipper collects all the, all the offers and selects the carrier they like based on price and rating score. After the shipment has been delivered, the shipper rates the carrier, increasing the quality and credibility of the marketplace. So uh, what we aim to do is to eliminate unnecessary emails and telephones. Uh, we offer a real-time bidding opportunity by rated carriers, and we have a really easy-to-use platform, uh, unlike some of our competitors. So we're the only bidding and rating solution out there. We target small and medium enterprises directly, and we're first movers in Southeast Europe and Turkey, the, 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 the markets that we primarily target. So we uh, launched in September, self-funded, uh, right now we have uh, 570 shippers, uh, mostly small and medium enterprises. We have 170 carriers, uh, mostly large trucking companies and large freight forwarders. And we have 10 freight forwarders, which uh, means that are companies that have both access as a shipper and a carrier at the same time. So there have been more than 1,050 international shipments submitted. Uh, most of them are on road transportation, but we've seen a great increase in demand uh, for sea transport, which is really uh, good for us, and there's a huge market that we're getting into. So how do we make money? Uh, since September, we've been in free trial. We uh, planned to start charging in July, but uh, given the circumstances, we postponed. Um, the carriers will have to pay an average of 80 euros per month in order to have access to our shipments and to potential new clients. Uh, the shippers will have the platform for free for up to a number of uh, shipments per month. Uh, it's up to 20 shipments per month. After that, they're going to have to pay uh, a subscription uh, fee each month. And we have freight forwarders who are intermediaries in the transport process. So you would think that taking the middleman out of the equation would be our thing, but it turns out that these companies uh, get the most out of this platform. It helps them be better at their jobs and more efficient. So they're going to uh, give a little more than the rest because they get most out of it. So uh, our projections are that we're going to break even in three and a half years. Uh, in uh, five years' time, uh, we estimate to have 15 uh, million euros in revenues from the market that we will have entered uh, with a 60% gross margin. So our management team is comprised by myself, Spiros, our software developer, Dimitris, uh, who's our business developer, and uh, we recently had a new, um, a new member in our management team. It's our individual investor, a company with more than 100 years of experience in the shipping and transportation industry. So we just raised 200,000 euro, but uh, we just realized that we need more because we need to expand sooner than expected in Bulgaria and Turkey. Uh, these are strategic uh, countries. Uh, that have many trading relations with Greece. Uh, so we are currently raising 600,000 euro in order to expand in Bulgaria and Turkey with key account managers. Uh, and we believe that in 18 months time from now, uh, we'll be needing another uh, round of financing to maintain operations and expand in uh, three more markets in the Balkans. And we are thinking also, we don't know until then, uh, some African countries as well. So. Um, our exit strategy is to be acquired by companies like Volters Kluver, a really large conglomerate of companies that has already acquired marketplaces like ours in Western Europe. Uh, they want to expand their pan-European reach, um, and there are some other companies that could be potential buyers as well. So uh, during uh, the past few months, while we were at the MIT competition, we 
close the new deal um, and we're really excited about it because it's something that we're working on right now. Uh, I can't say much about it because uh, we just uh, closed it, but uh, in a nutshell, we want to become the freight forwarders for e-commerce websites in Greece. So we want to handle all their shipments and find the right carriers to transfer uh, their orders nationally and internationally. So as I said before, we're raising money, but last but not least, I want to thank the, uh, the competition, the MIT Enterprise Forum, for giving us great insight uh, great advice, great mentoring, great uh, networking. Uh, actually, the deal we closed uh, had a lot to do with the competition, so thank you very much. Uh, I believe that uh, the, the most valuable prize for, for this competition uh, is participating and getting the most out of it, like all of the finalists got this prize. So thank you very much. These are my contacts. Thank you. Thank you, John. Five minutes for the questions, please. I didn't get much your pricing model. Mm. Can you tell me about your pricing? Yeah, of course. It's a subscription fee, a monthly subscription fee per uh, company. Uh, we also have annual subscriptions uh, with uh, some discount. So in order for a company to be in our platform and have access to our platform, each month they'll have to pay a subscription fee. It's going to be similar with what I asked the other logistic company. So how do you uh, compete with Uber? And Excuse then, me? I so did. how do you compete with Uber? That has a similar service. Uh, and then how um, you set the marketplace. But, but I imagine if I go to Booking.com and I say, I want to go to Kithira. Mm -hmm. How about that? And then hotels come to me and say, I have an offer for this room, I have an offer for that room, and I have to review the rooms. It, it, it seems it's not the most efficient thing to do. Is that faster to make mm -hmm. it really an exchange. Okay, so the first part about Uber, uh, we do nothing like Uber. I mean, Uber is for taxis for, I didn't get the question. There's a service called Uber Ras and it's doing exactly the same thing. It's In international transportation? Yeah. I mean, for, for uh, industrial shipments, pallets, cargoes, containers and stuff like that? Yes. I didn't know it's, about it, that. It, they don't do so much international, but they do national, intra-city. So okay. I didn't know about Uber Rush. Uh, thank you for, <laughs> for giving me intel. Um, so, um, in international transportation, uh, prices are dynamic. They have mostly to do uh, with available space. They have to do with the seasonality. They have to do with uh, gas and oil prices, and they change constantly. So, finding the right price uh, it's not as easy as it seems. You have to have a real-time uh, platform where you can accept offers. So uh, right now, as we have uh, structured the business, the company says that I have this freight, and until then, I'm uh, accepting offers. So until that time, they are getting constantly offers. The opposite would be for trucks to say, I have available truck, uh, and whoever wants can ping me, right? But uh, you wouldn't have the dynamic pricing because you would have to have the company call the trucking company and say, okay, I have this, how much, and then they would have to call each trucking company and see who gives the best price. We do the exact opposite. They have the shipment and they collect all the offers based on availability, based on each truck's uh, uh, given circumstances. So the best right now thing to do in order to collect quotes is to upload the shipment instead of getting, uh, connecting, contacting all the, the tracking companies, tracking or freight forwarders, because we're talking about sin transportation as well. So that's what we're trying to eliminate. Right now, companies are calling or are uh, throwing out emails to several companies, transport companies, and saying that, okay, I have the shipment, tell me what. And they get 10 or 20 emails negotiating the price. What we do with Nest Cargo is that they upload it and they get uh, the best prices. And it's a sealed bid auction, it's not an open bid auction, so uh, each carrier gives the best price they can uh, at any given moment, and they can change the price until the last moment. So from our experience, because we started with open bid auctions, we changed that. It didn't help anyone. Uh, we tried a lot of things. We believe and we've seen from competitors as well that in international transportation, that's the way to go and not the other. So I, I can see the other 
the other way around working. Like, I have available track, I'm on the road, click me. This doesn't work for international transportation. For national transportation, it's totally different because you have smaller times, smaller time frames, uh, and you have a certain routes. In international transportation, it's so much complicated that that's why large companies, trucking companies, freight forwarders, shipping companies have people doing this job all the time, the, the, the matchmaking and the, the quote giving. Well, thank you, John. Thank you very much. Thank you to the judges. I just had to turn down one question.